on my screen you see the website on the left and my iPhone on the right with the Royal Orders app. We will log in as the admin. And after we log in, we'll go to the dashboard. This option is only visible for the admin. And we have a lot of options here. We will start with profile. We'll need to enter this short code to start the app. If we white label this app for you, then we do not need to do this. So here we have the app. The app will start from here. Then we have customize. In customize, we have our localization options, the option for admin panel to change colors. And uh, then we have our language and currency options where you can set a primary language and we can do multi language and multi currency options and we can set the exchange rates here. We have our refer and earn options, the amounts earned and spent. And then we have our social media links. Going to the styling, we have our app styling options where we can set a different tab bar style or change the color of the app. And with a simple pull to refresh, we will see these settings. And this design is for if you have a lot of categories and if you want to use this or you can go with a simple approach. And then we have our web styling, which has the options for favicon and the highlight color as well for the website. And then we have our CMS option where you get to create more pages if you want, apart from terms and condition and privacy policy. And we can edit the HTML here. Next, we have one of the most important screens, which is the catalog screen. Here you have the complete category structure that you want in your software. So let's edit restaurant. Here we have different types of categories. For example, the category type can be subcategory, product, vendor. So for example, on the right, if we click on sub supermarket, the subcategory, the type is subcategory. So we just see the subcategories. If we go to restaurant, we see the type vendor where we have a single vendor at this moment and uh, we can have direct products as well and yeah that's how it works so next we have a brand category as well where we list all the brands and we have a celebrity option as well so in which you can you know have influencers on your app and uh, tag products with them and also we have pickup delivery type of category and we will soon have home services type of category as well and you can add the category name in different languages which you set and customize then we have different variants so this variant uh, is these variants are linked to t-shirts so different sizes colors fabric you can add as many variants as you want and you can add their names and everything in different languages and same for brands So you select the category and you add the title in different languages. Next going to configuration. So this is something you set up at start of the project where you are, uh, enable hyperlocal, you enable last mile delivery. This connects directly to Royal Dispatch. You have your dynamic social logins, your email, SMS and map configuration and also user authentication if you want to have verification for email or phone or both and you can enable or disable your celebrity mod from here you have your pharmacy mod where if you want you can set prescription for a product or you can disable that then we have our dine-in delivery and takeaway options where uh, what happens is that you can set up your platform just for delivery or dine-in or all of them multiple and this changes the options on the front end of the website and also for the vendors then we have different tax categories we have your payment options as well and in the marketing segment you have different options like banners so on banners we have the first banner of grocery let's say let's see if we click on this it takes us to the fruits 
So here you can set the banner to any category. We have set it to fruit here, as you can see. Then we have promo codes. And in promo codes, you can create a promo code, set it to percentage or fixed amount, set the code, offer free delivery or set it to first order only. And you can limit it to a product or any category. Then we have our loyalty options. So different cards, different minimum points to earn more points. And so bronze is a minimum point of zero, which is needed for an initial user. And a bronze user will earn 10 points per order and one loyalty point for every $2. And while redeeming, 10 points can convert to one dollar, or you can set it to one is to one, however you want. Going forward, we will go to vendors, and after vendors, let's go to the specific one converse. So here you see the service area. You can add multiple service areas for each vendor, and you set your commissions for the vendor, and you can allow different categories to be enabled for this vendor. Here we have shoes and t-shirts. And here are the different times available for the vendor for uh, delivery. We can enable dine-in and takeaway, and then the vendor can add more options for time as well. Here we have uh, the categories for the vendor. He can add more vend more categories if there's more detail into uh, the products. Then there are add-on sets. So add-on sets are something like you know. Add-ons can be for food, add-ons can be for a product like shoes where you know you can sell shoe polish, something like that. And then you add different products. There's a minimum to maximum range, the minimum amount someone can buy or maximum. And, uh, and then going to the product catalog. Um, let me show you a product like this, Brooks. So here for this product, you see various options, SKU, URL and the category. The product information in, you can add this in various languages. The product images on the side. And you can change the language here to update it, update the information in different languages. And then you can mark this product new or featured. If you need last mile delivery, then you can toggle this on and the order will go to Royal Dispatch. Uh, you can set the live status. You can select a brand if there is any set for this category. You can set the tax category. You can select the add-on sets you want to offer with this product. And you can create variants for this product for different sizes. So here, as you see, we have added variants for size seven, eight, and nine in black and brown. So if you want to add 10 and 11 for black, brown, white, and red, you can do that. And these are the sets. Let's add the price here. Quantity, let's add same numbers. So all permutation combinations of variants are created. This is very helpful in e-commerce solutions. So apart from price and quantity, all other variables are optional. So once this is done, let's go to fashion and then shoes. And here we have our robes. And as we added different color options, you see them here. So for size 10 in red, we have the price $80. And here are the add-ons. You can have those add-ons here. And the product is added. We can add a few more products. Also, we have a multi-vendor cart. So you can add multiple products from different vendors. Let's go to electronics, let's say. So let's add this. And now we have all these products in the cart. We can add a promo offer as well. So 20% off and uh, then we can place the order and straight up it's done and 
that's the order detail. You can see your past orders here. And then on the admin side, we can go to orders. Here we have the order detail as well. And the admin can update the statuses as accepted, as processing. And if the product has last mile delivery, you will see uh, another set of statuses here for the dispatcher and the delivery person.